Lieutenant Zachariah Manser, I think congratulations are in order. Captain Eliza Major, welcome to my unit. The honor is mine, Captain. For now, we're stationed in town and focusing on missions intended to maintain order and safety among the civilians. Here are the two other fine soldiers making up your unit for the time being, David Ward and Jeffrey Hunter. My pleasure, Lieutenant! Congratulations, and... Leave the ass-kissing for later, soldier. Lieutenant? Yes, sir, Captain. Excellent. Moving on to more pressing matters. Our mission just came in, and it's aimed at smothering regime opposition. According to the intel the ASC gave us, those terrorists live in the slums and are plotting several attacks to undermine our corporation. Your mission is to infiltrate the terrorists, stop the attacks, and find your way to their leader, Bulgakov. Orders are to capture Bulgakov alive. We're going to drain him for intel about other terrorist cells and dismantle the entire network. So beat him only as much as you need to take him. You got it, Captain. Move quickly. The longer you take, the more risk there is to the citizens of Ophir. And I won't have that. Before you go, though, there's one more mission. One requiring speed and discretion. We have deserters in our ranks, Lieutenant. Deserters planning to flee like rats through the city's underground. That won't happen. Do you understand me? You find them, and you eliminate them, each and every one. That seems harsh to you. Setbacks against Aurora have ruined our reputation, to the point that every action we take is scrutinized and extorted by those seeking to gain from our fall. A mass desertion would spell scandal if it became public. You catch them before any word of their escape comes out. So move, now. You only have a few hours. Chasing after deserters sounds great. Where do we start? The slums. They must have gone home to ask for help. So we should pay their families a visit. I'm sure our escapees will be around. I find it disgusting, chasing my own companions.
Okay, okay. We never see him around these parts. Great Master said the caravan would be right here. The stand looks like it's been deserted. I'll question the neighboring merchants. Are you looking for merchants? Got some things to buy, Lieutenant? You should have told me. I could have done it for you. We could probably find what you're looking for in another shop. Yeah, right. Well, I never thought. Mr. Manser, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Big on weaponry, I hope. What can I get you? I was expecting a caravan in the stall next door to buy a few things. They arrived yesterday, but truth be told, I think they found some trouble. I wasn't there when it happened, but from what I heard, some people were looking to talk, and talking turned to shouting, and after that, they were seen down in the slums, I, I hear, and then they were dragged into some warehouse. Whatever they did, they're in big trouble now. If you're looking to help them, you better find them fast. Hello. Hello. Looking for some medicine? Drugs? Ingredients, maybe? Can you help me? I'm looking for any information on the caravan that sets up in the stall over there. I don't know. My, my memory sometimes needs an incentive to remember. Don't act like you have nothing to gain. Merchants are disappearing around here like smoke, and it's no longer safe for you. You tell me what you know, and I'll intervene with my men. Despite the risk of trouble, it'll maybe make your life a little safer. Listen, kid. Take your shitty reasoning and shove it back up your ass. Across the street, they got a ton of reason. Far more dangerous and sharper than yours, if you catch my drift. If you want something, you better pony up some dough. How about this? You tell me what you know, or you'll find yourself in a room with others who'll be a little bit more assertive in their efforts to refresh your memory. All right, already. Fine. I'll tell you what I know, but at great risk to my own ass. You've heard the tale of the Vori, of the Underworld. So these overpriced foreign merchants did something to piss them off. Didn't pay their right of passage or protection serum or something. Whatever the hell it was. They were kidnapped. That's all I know. Where they are, or even if they're still alive, I haven't the damnedest clue. For that, you'll have to ask the Vori. Now do Joe a favor. Take this herb and get the hell out before you raise suspicions.
really gonna talk to that man? The chief of the Bori? You know that even back at home we used to hear about him? He's a terrifying man. And hanging out with the mob. Boy, I have a favor to ask you. I've lost something. What'd you lose? Uh, I mentioned one thing. Oh, I am sorry. In fact, it's about a friend. Charles? You remember Charles? No, you can't remember him. Silly <laughs> me, you never met him. Anyway, Charles is a friend. A scientist co-worker. He was way more successful than I, I must say. So, he's a friend, and I lost him. It looks like he disappeared, and I am a bit worried. I know that he was doing some sensitive research. Important. Maybe he ran into problems because of that. Anyhow, it's hard to tell. How do you want me to find him? He has an assistant. Very nice. She used to make delicious pastries. Unless I'm mixing her up with someone else. Anyway, he had an assistant. I'm pretty sure of it. I'll go find her. She must know what happened to him. And if she does, it'll turn out the professor is just at a conference somewhere. Maybe. It's true I don't get invited to conferences as often as I used to. It's rather unfair. I used to love the cocktails they serve. Fortunately, this is beyond my skill level. hoping to get to. I mean, sure these underworks are vast, but still, you think they want to join enemy lines? They're trying to get away from the war, the fights, and after what they saw, we can't really hold that against them.
Unfortunately, this is beyond my skill level. Fortunately, this is beyond my skill level. Unfortunately, this is beyond my skill level. Unfortunately, this is beyond my skill level.
I know what the captain said. Look, I hope you're not planning to kill him. I know Boris. He's a great guy. He must just be at the end of his tether. He's fought a lot for abundance. It can't go down this way. Lieutenant? You don't like Technomancers, do you? That a surprise, Lieutenant? You go to your little private schools, cut off from the world, then just show up all clean and well-fed with your weird-ass powers, and poof, just take other officers' positions without earning them. You don't have a damn clue what war is. Never been to the front lines. Let me tell you, I have. Even fought alongside some of your so-called masters. Day in and day out, we fought together. And day in and day out, they had more respect for our damn enemies than they ever did for me or us. We ain't nothing to your great officers with their divine abilities, or whatever the fuck they are. We show our respect to you because we know we'd probably be up shit creek in some of these wars without you. But we don't have to like your kind, and I don't. It's my damn right. So yeah, no, Lieutenant, sorry. I don't like Technomancers much. Your command, Lieutenant. What can you tell me about our captain? I'm... I'm sorry, Lieutenant? I want you to speak freely. It's just us. No, uh, of course, Lieutenant. I just... Uh, the captain's a great lady. A bit strict and not always polite with her orders, but that's nothing to bitch about. Sure, she's got her reasons, and it's for her own good. And, hell, she knows a lot more than what's going on behind the scenes than we do. Hell, she came from a family of officers. She's damn good at her job. Was meant for it. And I'm pretty damn proud to say she's the head of our unit. I I'm just a, a little surprised you're asking me, Lieutenant. What do you think about Technomancers? Aw, oh, hell. <laughs> well, you're putting me on the spot, aren't you? Ha... <sighs> All right, well, you guys are strong and all that with your powers, no doubt. And honestly, you're only the second one I've ever met. First guy was at our place in Green Hope. He was a nice old guy. He, uh, he, he taught us some terrestrial techniques, and, you know, obviously he was there for us if we had spiritual problems. But to be honest, I can't really compare him to you or any of the other ones here, of course. That said, honestly, I'm really proud to serve under you, Lieutenant. You're an example to try to live up to. I mean, you were just one of us regular people, and you became an officer and a technomancer. It's really incredible and inspiring. Yeah! 
So you got me, Mancer. Good for you. How much blood did you spill along the way? You're nothing more than a lackey for abundance. At some point, we've all felt the way you do about abundance. But they just take and take until we're all used up. We are tired and want out. But they send you, another loyal dog, to drag us back. I fought my whole life for them. Today, for once, I'm gonna fight for myself. All right then, let's do this. not your enemy. All I want is to live in peace. Please, I'm begging you. Get the hell out. Don't ever show your face here again, and you can keep your life. You, I owe you my life, Mancer. I will never forget that. For as long as I live. Goodbye. You already back, Lieutenant Zachariah? Captain, report? Yes, Lieutenant. Rest assured, potential scandal's been abolished. Everything's in order. We managed to neutralize most. Some, unfortunately, escaped. Then you didn't act quickly enough. It should have been your priority, Lieutenant. Because of your failures, all we can do now is hope that the word doesn't spread. What was the fate of the sergeant in charge of the group? Sergeant Boris?
you'll be pleased to hear that he's been eliminated, as requested. I'm glad to hear my expectations were met. As hard as it must have been to carry out those orders, it's never easy to take the life of one of your own, even if he was a coward and a traitor. He did well, saved us from scandal. My trust was well placed. The quartermaster has your pay. Go get it. It was well earned. Good. Moving on. We have new missions. Bit of a welcome change from the big chases. We've got state officials arriving in Ophir today, and an ASC warning that an influx of Aurora spies in the city are planning trouble. For security, the officials will be picked up in rovers outside the city and brought to the hangars, rather than coming through the station. We've got brigades tracking the spies, but you're gonna have to usher them through the slums and make sure they get to our quarters safely. No excuses. No failures. We clear? Questions, Lieutenant? Lieutenant Zachariah Manser? Your reputation precedes you. A promotion well deserved, I hear. I'm Quartermaster Ryan Stewart, in charge of logistics in this barracks. Equipment problems or improvement, or you need to collect your pay, I'm your man. Pleasure, Quartermaster. Captain Eliza told me to come find you for my pay. Indeed, I've been expecting you. Here you go. Word on the street is that the locusts are swarming the underworks. Patrol gonna get it under control before the shit hits the fan? <laughs> Unlikely. High command's about as interested in the slums as they are the underworks. Might try to spit shine a turd, but what's it to you anyway? As it goes, little nuisances have a way of becoming big problems over time. Proliferation. And I'd be willing to pay to nip it in the bud now, before they start to hit our warehouses and personnel, too. Well, you'd have more luck killing them in their nests than hunting them one by one. Or you could booby trap the tunnels and catch the rats while they roam. Your call. Hi. Lieutenant, how can I help you? Made the traps you suggested. Now they just have to be set to catch the locusts. And I'll make sure they find their way to the tunnels. Keep the filthy things from reaching the surface and poaching our goods. And Lieutenant, thank you for caring. The poorest of us rarely get shown such concern. It's your lucky day. I need a favor, if you have the time, on top of the missions the captain already gave you. Depends on the favor. Soldiers back from the front are barricaded inside the warehouse, but they think Aurora's outside and they're in the middle of a war zone. They terrorize the merchants, but honestly, that's not even the worst of it. According to internal reports, they're not just soldiers. They're test subjects for a new combat drug that increases their strength tenfold. The paranoia is probably a result of the drug, but it makes the situation even more dangerous. I would prefer it if you could reason with them. You could use force, but in their state, the drugs could push them over the edge. A straight-up fight could kill them. First things first, we need to help get them quarantined and away from civilians to prevent further collateral damage. I know you're up to your neck in other responsibilities, but please, this is a favor for me and a favor for the guys. If the ASC handles it instead, I know I'm gonna be writing letters of condolences. Don't let it come to that. How does he think a noob who's not even a real soldier will be able to reason with a corporal hopped up on some super drug? He knows Technomancers aren't magicians, right? Pipe down, Lieutenant will find a way. Maybe we just need to find the Corporal's family to help talk him down. Look at me, <laughs> I'm just full of ideas. Let me in. It's important. 
imperative I speak to so- Ma'am, your husband. He's one of the soldiers who returned yesterday. Yes, I'm Corporal Tyrone Ward's wife. So he is back? Why haven't I been permitted to see him? What's wrong? Ma'am, he's safe, but he's scared, paranoid, suffering severe post-traumatic stress. So what I need for you to do is tell me something, anything that might help me convince him to listen before he gets himself killed. Tell him I'm here. Tell him I'm waiting to see him, dying to see him. Tell him about the ribbon he sent me for my hair and that it's not just me waiting anymore. That he's... We're going to have a child soon. Corporal, let's chat. You wanna chat? Sure, why not? Not like we're at war here. Let's just have a goddamn tea party. Whatever you wanna chat about. Oh shit, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. I didn't see your stripes. Your uniform threw me off, sir. My mistake. <laughs> it's fine, Corporal. Stand down. Listen, Corporal, you're confused. You're scared, and I get that. Not a lot is making sense to you now. But you have to trust me. You're back in Ophir. And your wife, Maya, she's worried about you. Maya? How the hell do you know my wife's name? Did you do something to... Your wife's fine, Corporal. She even told me about that ribbon you sent her. She told you about the ribbon? I, I don't... I don't understand. There was a goddamn war raging out there. I heard it. We were under siege. If we're in Ophir, you're telling me it's under siege? It was. The fighting's done, though. You held the warehouse like men, so just relax and return to your barracks. Rest. Wait for your wife. She has some good news for you. Good news? Of what? The best kind. Trust me. The kind that'll be a reason to stay safe. Stay alive. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Men. Listen up. Lower your arms. We're heading back to the barracks. On the double. Unfortunately, this is beyond my skill level.
Hi. Lieutenant, how can I help you? I solved your problem, Quartermaster. Is that so? And how'd it go? No lives lost. But if we don't find an antidote to the drug, I doubt those men will see a day outside a cell for the rest of their lives. Thanks, Lieutenant. We owe you one. A friend of mine working on the test actually sent us a sample, and we should be able to make an antidote with it. Eventually, I hope. Give me the sample. I know someone who could probably find the cure quickly. Thank you, Lieutenant. If he succeeds, he will help us out a lot. Here, take this. Civilians away from the plaza it might be safer. Good point. Yeah, let's ask him to move back. Hi, Scott. Hello, my boy. How are you? Nothing broken, I hope. I have a sample of a drug that was administered to the soldiers. We absolutely need an antidote. Can you do that? Of course. You know, you could have probably made it yourself. If you would listen to the science lessons I was trying to teach you... Oh well, you preferred to throw lightning bolts. I remember that time. Scott, here's the sample. Can I get an antidote? You think that I'm senile? You'll see. Give me some time. Take this. It wasn't that complicated. I made you one dose and I wrote down the formula on it. They'll be on their own for making others. Thank you, Scott. My kids. My job needs a damn boy more than my own family. Keep your mouth shut.
Hey there, I'm looking for Charles Seeker. You know where I could find him? Hmm. And you are? Zachariah Manser. Professor and I have a mutual friend who's worried about him. You know the feeling. Haven't seen him for days. I'm Veronica Seeker, the professor's assistant. I got a message informing me he had taken an impromptu vacation, but it's not like him. He didn't even like to sleep, said it just wasted time. Even more than likely in the middle of the research he was doing. Yeah, seems a bit off, doesn't it? Professor was supposed to start some research with a friend of mine as well. I'm sure he'd already started work on it before leaving. You know anything about it? Of course. I was involved with the professor's research, though I shouldn't discuss it with anyone without his consent. But with that last name Manser, I suppose this technomancy research is of particular interest to you. Otherwise, most people barely bat an eye towards the scientific aspects of Technomancer powers. If you're concerned that the message wasn't really from the Professor, did you report his disappearance? To the authorities? Of course not. The authorities, Mr. Manser, have far more pertinent issues than this, which I'm sure will work itself out in time. Now, if you'll excuse me. It's a damn shame. I have to admit, I would have loved to meet the man myself. Heard so many great things. Even read his work in genetics regarding the origins of the primo selfier earth things with abundance. Brilliant man. And the truth is, he would have been just as interested in meeting you. Technomancers fascinated him, though I'm fairly certain he'd never met one who had ever read his publications. I'm afraid the professor's vocal railings against the ASC and their ceaseless power grabs might have finally come back to bite him. He would even preach to his colleagues and the listeners at conferences. I would give anything to be wrong, of course, but hope is oftentimes incongruous with the reality we must come to face. That's one good looking woman. Too bad she's only got eyes for a professor. Oh, she seems so sad. Lieutenant, why are we investigating the professor's disappearance? The captain never discussed it. It's not our order. I've been working on something that'll help us in the long run. Something really important. I don't know how it's connected to this, but it is. You're gonna have to trust me. I got you back, Lieutenant. Hi. Lieutenant, how can I help you? I went to a friend for a solution to our antidote problem, and he found one. That's the kind of good news you don't get every day. You could stop a hundred terrorist attacks and still not save as many lives as you have with that antidote, Lieutenant.
Make the slightest move, you're a dead man. Hello there. Feel free to browse. Hello there. Feel free to browse. I'm looking for a little information. Maybe you could help me. If it's information regarding my merchandise, I'm a fountain of knowledge. If it's in regards to anything else, I'm afraid I have no to offer. Bye. Lost ten doses of serum the other day. Bad bet in the arena at the Curiosities. Why was not I have my head up this piece up? Easier said than done. I know the thrill of a win. Reminds me. Did you see the fight the other day? And an armed man taking on a whole group of guys with eyes? Unbelievable. Oh, yeah, no. I missed that one. Must have been one heck of an event. Wish I was there. Good day. Care for some merchandise, officer? I need information. Don't we all? Unfortunately, I'm just a simple merchant who spends her day here, selling her goods. And probably knows little of anything that would interest you. Have a good one. See you later. And you too. Hope to see you again soon. Make the slightest move, you're a dead man. Make the slightest move, you're a dead man. Hi, Scott. Hello, my boy. How are you? Nothing broken, I hope. I'm sorry, Scott. You were right to worry about your friend. According to his assistant, it seems that he had problems. He was quite critical of the corporation. 
and you know how dangerous it's been lately. How crazy! How crazy he was! He should have just stuck to his research. How foolish to meddle with politics. He was a very good researcher, you know? He made real progress on the settlers' genetic origins. How sad. And that poor woman, who must be worried, sick. Listen, I thought... Anyway, maybe you could... What's going on? I know that I'm asking a lot from you, but I was wondering if maybe... You could continue to investigate. You are someone important now. You know a lot of people. They can tell you if Veronica's suspicions are justified. I can probably talk about it with my captain, or tap into some contacts in the know. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I want to be sure, you see. I think that you need to recover his latest research. I strongly believe that. Besides what he said, he found something dangerous. The ASC. They're thugs. We must not allow sensitive scientific research to fall into their hands. The risks are too high. I'll see what I can do, but I doubt that Veronica will give me Charles' documents willingly. She's very protective of her boss's work. It's become almost impossible to go through the underworld without the problem. Is it an official mission? It isn't, is it? What are we gonna do if we come into attack? Then we'll defend ourselves. Look, I know Anton Rogue's not the kind of guy to hang out with, but he's the guy to come to if you want to know anything Make about anything going on. A dead man. And I need to know something. All right, whatever you say, Lieutenant, I'm behind you. If anything goes down, I got your back. Veronica, I need a favor. I'm looking for access to the professor's compiled research documents. Might be a big help to me. It's just not my work to share, Zachariah. If he came back, I don't think he'd be too pleased to find out I handed it away. You ever find out what happened to him? I'm still looking for leads. Just finding dead end after dead end. I'm still looking. I keep hoping he just took a vacation. I know better. That man could never relax. Let me know if you hear anything, will you? You already back, Lieutenant Zachariah? There was a professor, Charles Seeker, who disappeared a while back. I'd really like to find out what happened to him. I don't know why I should give a damn when it has shit to do with your mission orders, Lieutenant. But if an answer will get you refocused on where your mind should be, give me a minute. 
Let me just begin by saying I really hope this professor wasn't a friend of yours, Lieutenant. And I'd hate to learn you're not a better judge of character than to befriend the likes of rebel insurgents. He's been sent to a re-education camp outside the city. Forget you ever knew him, Lieutenant. Even if he was just a friend of a friend, like, say, that old drunk you keep around, Scott Seeker, and I'll try to do the same. Show too much concern for enemies of the Corporation, and one might find themselves labeled one too, Lieutenant. Please, choose your friends more carefully in the future.